Okay, we're going to start checking a few of these uh, hot surface igniters to see what their resistance is. Now there's a difference between fast warm up and uh, cold, slow warm up hot surface igniters. The resistance should be different. If it's a fast warm up, it warms up within 10 to 15 seconds. Now this unit here is a train and it, it does have a fast warm up. If it's fast warm up, it has a maximum resistance of 150 ohms cold. So uh, I'm going to test this thing and see what the resistance is. Now you can see I have taken it uh, loose here. I've taken this piece off here and we're going to test the resistance. Okay you can see that one is showing 88.5 ohm. So it's well within the range. Now this one's about 15 years old, so uh, got quite a few years on it, but it's still well within the numbers because I got to be over 150 before I start complaining about this thing. Okay, we have a couple more igniters here. These are all Nortons, and they're all. 271 amps. Now this one's got a wide base and these two are skinny base. We're going to do resistance on these things and uh, because they're all used uh, we should get some idea of uh, whether these things are ready to go or not. Okay this one is a wide base like I said it's a 271 I'm going to show you where that number is too. Okay it's reading 88.7 uh, ohms so uh, not too far off of what you'd expect it uh, to read here you can see the 271 N right there or underneath Norton on the connector that's on most of those connectors uh, so you can tell which one it is right there this one is also on the small base and it's reading 80.4 ohms so it's okay also it's also a 271 amp this is also a skinny base and it's probably a 271 but uh, the uh, connectors going off it so you can't tell now what are we reading on this one oh well okay it's broke I'll show you where it's broke uh, Okay, let's look at this one here. We're going to look close at it. And it's pretty obvious if you look get down there. That's where all of them break. Every one I've ever seen has broken right there. With these Norton igniters, we're going to have to start talking about what resistance is acceptable for these things and what is not. Okay, on these Norton igniters, the 271, which is a fast warm up, pretty much the 150 ohms is what most of them say. Now, there are different companies are saying different things. Uh, it gets kind of out of hand sometimes when you look at all the different uh, companies' recommendations. I'm trying to go by as much as possible from Norton, and they're saying that 271 in should be 150 ohms or less. Some guys replace them at 100 ohms. I'm not saying that's wrong, but probably they will still last quite a while. Okay, as for the 201 ends, uh, the numbers go anywhere from 200 ohms to 400 ohms. I'm probably going to go towards the 200 ohms on these things. I may be throwing a couple of them away that probably shouldn't be. But if it says 201, then it's going to be a higher resistance. It's normal to have a higher resistance on these things. And so at least 200. You can determine these things is if it's a slow warm up, that means that hot surface igniter is on for 30 to 45 seconds, then 
it's a slow warm up, so it's a 201. So it'll be the higher resistance. Uh, if it's a short warm up, 10, 15, 17 seconds, then it's a 271. And it'll have the lower resistance of maximum of 150 ohms. That's about the best I can come up with on these things. I'm not sure it makes a lot of sense uh, how they do this because I get a lot of different conflicting numbers from different manufacturers, but that's the best I can come up with. So that's it on the Norton igniters.